Hey everyone, welcome to Game Changers, the interview series where we get to know a little bit more about the industry leading agents here at Remax Peninsula. So today we're talking with Dana Qualteri. Dana has been licensed since 2017 and has been with Remax Peninsula since 2019. So let's get started and learn a little bit more about Dana. Where are you from originally, Dana? Um, I'm actually, I was born in Maryland and lived in Maryland, Northern Virginia, but um, I've been in the Hampton Roads area since I was like eight. So I pretty much, I'm from here. Like I've lived in almost every city. I went to school in Gloucester. So I graduated from Gloucester High. All right. um, so yeah. Very cool, very cool. So where do you live now in the area? Um, I'm in Newport News and Oyster Point. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, so important question here. When it comes down to thin crust or regular crust pizza? So if I have my, if I can order it and my family's not going to have a cow, I, I like thin crust. Okay. But my family does not. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And what do you like on your pizza? So if I'm ordering a thin crust pizza for like me, um, I would get like all the veggies and maybe some chicken, but like if I like thin crust pizza, I like all the veggies and, and maybe some chicken. If I'm okay. That sounds, that sounds good. I like it. So tell us, what did you do before you were in real estate? Um, I was in marketing and advertising for 10 years. Okay. So um, the last one I was with the radio stations um, for a number of years as an outside sales rep helping local businesses um, grow and develop their marketing and business plans. Very cool. Very cool. So do you have um, a memorable real estate moment that you can share with us? So I think um, I'm kind of clumsy. Okay. If you don't know that about me, you do now. If you know me, you know that it's, it's likely to happen. Um, I was in new construction for four years prior to being licensed. And that's probably where I got a good amount of like, I don't know, there's a lot of mishaps that can happen. Mm -hmm. um, one house in particular, it was a inventory or spec home that was almost complete. And I was showing it to a couple and um, I got to know them fairly well, but we were in this large house. The floors were already down, but they had floor covering over top, which is like this kind of, um, it's not quite plastic. It's like a foam, a thin foam plastic, like um, on top, but it's not usually like super secure, but you can walk on it and you're not going to necessarily slip. So we're walking, I'm showing the house. I go to open up in the sunroom, the like double like French doors out onto the deck. That's a deal, it's a pretty pond. And I slip and I hit and I go down like on my butt back, feet up in the air in a dress and slide across like the room. <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. So someone had left the window or door ajar and it had rained. And so there actually got water in between. And that's, of course, how it got so slick because normally you don't fall on that. Yeah. But of course, if that's going to happen to someone, it would be me. Okay. Um, I was okay. I was a little sore. Um, yep. And uh, we all laughed. They didn't buy the house, oh. but they bought another house. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Goodness. All right. So tell us, what is your favorite drink of choice right now? So coffee and water are my day, like time go-tos. Mm -hmm. um, when all of this started, I may have been Bailey's in my coffee, but um, <laughs> I amazingly have been liking the seltzers. Like I think because they're, I'm normally like a vodka tonic or, um, but I think because they're kind of light, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I've been liking the Corona ones, okay. ironically enough. Ironically enough. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So tell us, what is a favorite place that you've been or that you um, like to visit? Um, I love anywhere with a beach. Um, my favorite and favorite um, vacation memory is was actually Jamaica. Um, my now husband and I, we planned a trip 
and during the process of planning the trip decided while we were there we were going to get married Aww. so we made it a wedding honeymoon and he um, got married in Jamaica and so it's the people there are amazing the island's beautiful like it's just it's a beautiful place very nice good memory there all right, so as um, the state begins to open up a little bit more and more, uh, what's one thing that you are, are looking forward to doing most? I think it's um, lunch and happy hour with like my friends, mm -hmm. coworkers, colleagues, um, just in general, being able to safely and get out and like see people. Um, so I think having some cocktails on some of these patios, mm -hmm. um, maybe overlooking some water would be perfect. All right. Awesome. So what is one piece of real estate advice you have for the community? Um, I think it's even before you think you're ready, like talk to a trusted person or advisor. Mm -hmm. um, if you are thinking for next year, or the year after that, it doesn't hurt to talk to someone now so they can help you get your ducks in a row and help you figure out the timeline. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you may need more time or different things and if you can get everything together or if you're thinking of selling the same way mm -hmm. so that you're not all of a sudden rushing and trying to get things done. Um, I think it's just kind of planning, interviewing people, you know, finding someone you know and, and trust because you're going to become best friends if you're not already, because you're going right. to talk to that person every day for months right? and then forever. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. I like it. I like it. All right. So we close it out with a little bit of um, lightning round, kind of this or that. So sunrises or sunsets? Sunsets. Beach or lake? Beach. Mm -hmm. All right. Coffee or tea? Coffee. I feel like you already answered half of these questions through your thing. No, I'm just <laughs> so a night owl or early bird? That's really hard. Both. Okay. Um, so you, you I like to stay up late, but I have to get up early to get things done. Like yeah. I just do. I understand. So um, I'm going to modify this one because there's been a third car, truck or SUV. Um, car. Okay. All right. Uh, dogs or cats? Cats. All right. And then the last one, most important, on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, is it grape jelly or strawberry jelly? Strawberry preserves. Okay. Oh, oh, you had to take it there. Does, does the seeds or no seeds? Um, I mean, it's not like super seedy, but it's kind of chunk. It's got like, you know, a little bit of chunks of strawberries in it a little, yeah. just a little. Wow. You would just went yeah. straight fancy on your, your peanut butter and jelly. I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dana, for spending a couple of minutes with us and letting us get to know you better. And as always, thank you so much for leading the change in real estate as a game changer. We appreciate you. Thank you. It's my pleasure.